now I've got the MFD AP installed inside the Mini Talon. Um, now we need to tell the autopilot that it's inside a Mini Talon um, with a V tail. Um, so this is um, my little backup ground station here. Um, there's my there's my proper ground station. So that's got the this has got a 1.2 um, Yagi PCB antenna with a Lawmate receiver. Um, that's going through the tracker down into my little box here. Um, this little thing sticking out here is a 5.8 and um, there's a 5.8 VTX in here which is I can turn on and off with this button. This then transmits 5.8 to my goggles and then my goggles here you can see is it's the OSD just about um, and I'm using my goggles to record um, to record the OSD so that I can show you how to set up the my fly dream autopilot for a mini talon when you power up the MFD AP um, it's gonna think it's in a regular aeroplane with a elevator and a rudder so in order to get the V tail working correctly you need to plug the right uh, fin, the uh, V-tail fin, into the elevator output on the MFD AP. So I'm moving the elevator stick now, and that is the the right uh, tail fin. Now the rudder, um, you plug the left tail fin into the rudder output on the MFD AP and that's important because later on when we tell the MFD AP that it's in a V tail um, it will do the correct mixing. So in order to tell the MFD AP that it's in a V tail we have to go into the settings. Stabilization off. Stabilization off. So to enter the menu we go down and to the right with the right stick and then to channel 5 up to the top. Stabilization off. Stabilization off. And in order to tell the MFD AP it's in a mini talent, we need to go to save, load, come down. As you can see here, it's already set to my twin dream. So we enter that menu. We come down until it says mini talent. And we press right again. And that has now loaded the preset. Now, this next step. I'm not sure if you have to do it, but I do it every time I change anything in the MFD AP anyway, and that is I save to model one. Uh, it's telling me there I need to put channel six into medium or uh, into the middle. Altitude hold. So now it's in the middle, it will say. So I put that back down. Stabilization off. And come back to the front menu and press channel five down to the lowest value to come out of the menu. Stabilization off. Have a look at the um, the V-tail. Now when I pull back on the elevator, you can see both surfaces move. If I do left rudder, right rudder, as you can see that's, um, that's worked fine. Now at this stage you need to check all the control surfaces. Um, so let me have a look at the uh, ailerons so aileron to the left okay that's not good the aileron needs to come up when you do left left uh, left aileron left roll which it isn't doing so you don't do anything in the MFD AP for this because um, at the moment it's on pass through it's on manual mode um, so you have to reverse the channel in your actual transmitter. So I'm going to do that now. So I've now reversed the aileron in my transmitter. Left, right, elevator, pull up and push down. Rudder to the left and rudder to the right. And uh, there you go. So now this this could technically be flown in manual mode now um, but we have a few more things to set up and I'll go through that next.